Try to take that transition. Give us a moment while we pull in those subsidiaries. That's why we're pulling them in. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah. Time for morning coffee. That's right. Give us a second, at least. We pull off that transition. Bitch in the room, getting the stuff done. Let's just do what we can. Yeah. Just vibe with it. Vibe with it. Come on, y'all. Time for morning coffee. Let's go. Got Miko in the house. Let's just do what we can. She's gonna be a special guest today on the morning. So kick back, chill, relax, and learn a lesson in the mind. Millimeters, no heaters. Let's put the rest in line. This rhyme's not here without questions. Time, let's vibe with time without weapons. And groove with the music in the school session. Let's vibe with time without weapons. And Come on! The beat to me like sap to a tree you send me the rap happening. All right, Joe, I think we got it working. The me when the mic touch this MC without the mic this MC feel empty. I'm telling y'all, it's the lyrical recipe, lyrical ecstasy. Here we no less for me. I accept and expect no less than the best to inject the collect without disrespect. Come on, we'll be cool to move with the crew. No funk in here to be way too sweet. Let's just do what we can to do. Just vibe here. Vibe with it. Come on, y'all. Okay, I'm checking it out. What's happening, Meerkat? What's happening, Periscope? What's happening, Taboo? Everything's coming through. I think we're ready. And it's full of It's like an epidemic. Yeah. Come on, y'all. I know. Don't drink the finish. See, I play the season. Y'all have a scrimmage. I spit with reason. Y'all hit the image. But I believe the dream has no limits. I believe that's the whole reason we live it. But they don't get it, they like it's not right, is it? Is no it? is it, hip-hop here to stay, no shit's it We gonna get it, new and groove music, move and groove with it Choose who you get with, I smack rap like it's too old My flow hard like dick, get the skimpy clothes On individuals, when anything goes I'm a player, pick them like any, many, many, many Got soul, got so much funk up in the rap I should pack the back hole Y'all should kick back, relax and just roll Roll with me all right, we got Vietnam. Go with me. Okay. Kenya just tuned in. Uh huh. All right. Yeah, got Manila. Let's just do what we came to do. Let's just do what we came to do. Come on. Come on, be cool. Yeah. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. What about that clap? Oh, <laughs> welcome everybody to Morning Coffee where shit is crazy because I got one arm and that's the best I could do today. Oh so it's hard, but <laughs> persevered. Welcome to Morning Coffee, the show that's live and unscripted, you guys. And a special show today because we got Miko in the house. Everybody give it up for Miko. Give it up. I have my class. <laughs> They're not working. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah, you have a Miko. Hot chocolate. You don't usually get it in the morning, so you know, whatever. So. <laughs> wow. Uh, what can I say? Wow. Because <laughs> that kind of day. Wow. So, so welcome, everybody. Vic okay. and I are glad to be here because it's the first day of spring, and we had talked, you know, on and on about the first day of spring and all the things that it could mean, should mean, and especially our new upcoming season. So we're glad to be here having survived another winter, even though we are acknowledging that many of you are well into spring fever you have lost your damn mind you I know you've been you've been working out in the gym throughout the winter because you knew you wanted to show your ass come spring you knew you, knew you wanted to show your ass come spring so I'm glad to see that people are out there because I've been seeing you working out 
I've been seeing y'all running and hiking. Miko's been doing sit-ups, and I do some push-ups, but I need somebody down there pushing back. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little harder. But I want to, you know, at least acknowledge that people have lost their damn mind because it's the age-old ritual that it's actually scientific studies that show that when the sun and the weather change and you start to feel those temperatures, that natural you start to think about procreation at least going through the the motions so those of you involved in spring fever means that you are probably desperately trying to get laid and so we understand and we want to want you to know there's always porn hub get plenty of sleep eat a well-balanced <laughs> diet and we know we always tell you put a helmet on that soldier wow Wow. All right. So. Wow. We want to also acknowledge, also you guys, one of the things that's going on in the news I had to acknowledge you guys is that it's a big deal that the president, President Obama is in Cuba, first sitting president in 88 years, 88 years to visit Cuba. A whole lot of politics. Miko and I, Miko, we got into that last night a little bit. We were talking about the politics and a lot of the stuff that people don't know and people forget because there's a lot of generational stuff and you don't hear about it so you much. Don't. You don't. But we, I invite you at this time, because of the president's historic visit to Cuba, to go and review the history of the whole Cuban embargo, the attempted invasion at the Bay of Pigs, the incident that many people link, and many conspiracy theorists link to the assassination of JFK. And this is one of the reasons that the intelligence community, they say, worked against the president. So it might, it would behoove you, there's a number of documentaries out there that are good on the whole Cuban Missile Crisis, where everybody, there was, everybody in America thought we were on the brink of nuclear war. And you, to, if you could just imagine how tense and freaked out they get today, you can. It's hard to even imagine what it was like then. But go take a look. That's why it is historic to um, that the president is in Cuba. And again, to open up that money flow. You know, Vic, I was watching mm -hmm. some of the commerce. Well, it was a documentary on on Cuba, and they were showing some of the businesses that exist that are going to probably go out of business. But they had a guy who worked on the street yeah. refilling lighters. Cigarette lighters. Wow. Cigarette lighters. Were they and he had a customers for days. Really? That's all he does. He That's all he crate. did for a living. Wow. He sits on a crate. Everybody's <laughs> up. Wow. And they actually wow. give him the lighter. And he fix it right there on the spot. So what does that tell you about the uh, Puff Puff environment? Um, <laughs> It's up to... <laughs> I guess... Everybody else interpretation. I, they don't seem to have the problems that we have over here in the United States. And Mario, that it's being different. Said, different. That's what we were talking about. Level, maybe education they're, they're level. More educated than a, a yes. average American. Yes, and and, and, and the healthcare laughing. system is something that people talk yes. about. See? Free healthcare See? is way better over there than here. Right. Well, there wow. you go. Well, that's, well, those are all opinions. Well, the yeah. point is that it's in discussion, right? Whether yeah. or not. You agree or disagree whether it's better or not better. At least it's a point of discussion, and even to have that—that's right—is for it to be a big deal. I Just get the fact that it has to be a point of well, discussion. What, what was the 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 girl that's a rapper? I, I forgot her name. I don't know what her name is, but they were showing the hip hop yes, because they have a big hip hop. Well, hip hop is international too. Right. We, yes. we right. learned it, but it's big in Cuba. Right. As a form of music, and at first the government was a little sure because you know it tends to be protest music. Right. Yeah. So that was part of the issue with it. Even though now I guess they're more accepting of it because they were showing one of the artists, and she could definitely flow. We'll yes, try to get can. some of that uh, hip hop artist from Cuba. Um, she so. got discovered on YouTube. Oh, that's Remember, why we she should. She got discovered on YouTube. Well, wow. that's what we should. So tell Mika don't bring up she. She don't have the link or nothing. Uh, no, no. I thought you. Would I, 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 y'all think I'm stupid. No, no. no I, I, I'm not. I don't I remember never. her name. I think it's, I don't either. But I, she's, she was she's fine really too. Beautiful. Pretty messed it up. She was really fine. Yeah, it's all right. so it's that's all right. something to bring up for. Um, uh, well, we we supposed to tell Amika who it is. I, I, we can't her just bring was, up her I, name. I know, but her name was. I couldn't pronounce her name. So fuck, fuck. You know, no. If she's really gorgeous, 
and she doesn't say anything bad about Cuba. And you know, the Cuban Cuban government, remember they were saying that he well, protests and they Wi Fi, he controls the Wi Fi over there, how what they can actually view and right. what they can't view. But if you have a lot of money that's coming in from American uh, citizens over here that are family or extended family, they could send you that and you'll see the new development that shows the people that have family but, over well, here. Exactly. It's always been stated that America was never interested in actually showcasing the viewpoint of the Cuban people. It's beautiful. Of course. They are there, just like the, and the Cubans in, in, for in all fairness had their own agendas also. Right. But, but, but with both of those agendas there look who gets caught in the middle. Even now the controversy is that as the money starts to flow into Cuba mm -hmm. from tourism and other things the right. question is is that going to end up helping out the little man or does it end up like most instances no matter where you are no matter what system, that when money flows, it tends to flow to certain people. No matter what kind of country, no what kind of political system that exists, this is the nature of man. They steal. Right. So when stuff flows, the rich people, the best ones, they don't like to call it that. They call it making money. It's really, you know, whatever, stealing. <laughs> In well, many that's instances. True. Well, but that's true, Mario, but that brings up uh, Starwood. Remember, Starwood yeah. is a big chain. It's a parent company of hotels like West End, Holiday Inn, and stuff like that. And they just signed a deal with Cuba to actually open up a hotel. Four there. hotels. Yes. Really? So yes. four hotels. So you wonder how that's going to be, how the jobs are going to work, how the money's going to flow. So we'll have to see. I think I, I think it's always better to open up embargoes because I need for people to understand something. The idea behind embargoes are that you make it so rough for the people in the country that they start to rebel against the leadership. Collateral. Once again, look who suffers. So when you put an embargo in a country, you don't let gasoline, cars, sugar, you know, or when you bomb water treatment plants as part of your policies of invasion of another country, which is many instances is supposed to be against the Geneva Convention. Then you it leads to these kinds of things. Yeah, well, so, that's that's the thing too over there. Their water treatment. Remember the guy? Was that the truck that drove up in the back right. of the restaurant? Right. And he was hosing water. They have a the terrible restaurant. infrastructure. It's not as it's. I, we talk about how bad ours is here because it's estimated in the United States we have like what 2,000, 3,000 bridges or something that need, we know in the state of California That's not nothing all your pipes you, right. we know that your piping here in the Los Angeles area needs a big renovation, that's why we keep having these pipe, big or huge breakages right. and floods, well over there it's terrible because they have an old, old infrastructure and you don't can't get the supplies like paint, so anyway right. my point on embargoes, watch out for what embargoes really mean embargoes really mean you hurt the little man because the rich folks in the country will get what they want. Right. And the idea, so that whatever they did that, it was always intended to hurt people. So, okay, that's why I'm against those. All right, moving forward, you guys. Um, wanted to show you some of the photos that I put up in social media of, uh, where's Facebook? Because I put them up there because people need to know. You need to know. The public has a need to know. And so because you have a need to know, I put up more photos of my scars. <laughs> I put up more scar photos uh, up on there on the internet. And that way you can go and see these, these scars on my shoulder. And take a look. All of that stuff. And uh, that way, you know, you can... Because people need me, they say, well, I had surgery too. See, we're trying to miss. We're trying to have a shared experience here. A sh there it is. There it is. There's the sh now. This you don't see all of them. Now, there's really six holes. But imagine in the old days when you had a huge incision all the way across that, Vic. Mm -hmm. With one of them big old giant keloid things, oh, they man. opened up the whole joint. Here they make the small incisions and they go in with, a, with a, what they call an arthroscope. Right. A little sc a scope, an instrument, and they can do the repairs through the scope. By having it be less invasive, yeah. cutting less stuff, then the healing is less too, right? Right. So the recovery is quicker. Absolutely. But still, I'm in the sling. <laughs> now, people say wonderful advice about different lotions to come and rub on my shoulder. And so I put those in a nice, wonderful list yeah. for the next Mrs. Hemsley. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not 
That means never. Never, right. Never. Never, never. But I'm just saying, there it is. You can go get that. Okay. All right, so that's all. I'm just going through my list. What's going on, guys? You know, the news, let me tell you a little bit about uh, this week. This is going to be our regular Triple Banger Friday. We got the Mood Control. Uh, we have the Mood Control pre-show. And who is it for this Friday, Vic? I'm supposed to know that. Yeah, we, we just call it the Mario Special Mix. Yeah, I picked it out. It's Michael yeah. Jackson. That's How it, could man. I forget? Yeah. So this Friday, the Quiet Storm pre-show that's d- d- is run by our artificial intelligence, Alexa. Uh, and she's going to be running it once again. And you can tune in for the Quiet Storm pre-show. We call it the Mood Control pre-show. So, uh, hosted by Alexa. And the, the subject this week will be Michael Jackson. We'll be featuring all music videos by Michael Jackson. Jackson. Hmm. So tune that for seven to eight o'clock. We have the Quiet Storm coming, and the Quiet Storm for this week is what's the Quiet Storm for this week? The Quiet Storm for this week is well, I'm not gonna tell you about some of these real quick. The Quiet Storm is da, 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 I just did this. Oh, here it is. The Quiet Storm for this week is spring is here. Time to chase that cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's Spring is here. That's a math. That's time right. to chase that cat, you guys. It's time. That's wrong. I know. I know. That's wrong. <laughs> Why must I chase the cat? Oh must be the dog in me. So that's for me to remind you. That's for this week. And then Vic, I don't know, Vic, do we know have any idea or is it still? Still a secret, you know. It's very. We don't. We don't want. We don't allow any leaks. Uh-uh. We no. don't let shit out. Nope. No leaks. Don't be trying to like hack in to find out the topics. No. Cause we know you want to know what the topic is. You want to know the hot pigs. Yep. And no. Oh, wow. Sorry. You can't have it. We just know it's a challenge. Mm. That's what we. We know it's a challenge, <laughs> and we know that. Uh, That's after, right. After last. Friday's performance of uh, and they'll be doing it to Miko. That's the other thing. Like, <laughs> what? Whatever it is, Boy, they're doing challenge. it to Miko. She scored <laughs> on the uh, ranking percentile curve about forty percent off of this last challenge. You know, but we we forgive her because she still represents. What can I say? So be there uh, this Friday, you guys. Remember, we are 420 friendly. Friendly. That means if you don't smoke, come drink, eat, or just enjoy the vibe. Oh, okay? Wow. <laughs> All right. Living Sheik just jumped in to the uh, meerkat, you know, and I was actually getting better at the social media stuff, you guys. And so I was start- I'm starting to get hip to who some of you are. Yeah. And because of that, I don't know if you want us to call you by your names uh, or or not, but it's it kind it's kind of hard not to sometimes because you guys make us want to acknowledge you. You make us want to acknowledge you by where we see you, places that we see you and where you are on the web and where you are following us on the on Twitter. Those kinds of things. So I just wanted to say we're going to be acknowledging more and more of that. Okay. All right. Other quick announcements, you guys. Oh, there's Miko's friends. Getting scraggly, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Telling you it's hard. Um, topic for today, you guys. The news topic for today, our discussion is going to be on erectile dysfunction. What? That's right. Erectile. That's that. Hey, you are the answer to my dream.
to me And you are The answer to my needs And you are The only reason And I know I fall to pieces when you speak And you are So captivating Jackson, Matt McAllister, Philip Cusper. Thank you all. That wasn't that good. Look at me, Coach. Good. Smitty just cheesing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was trying to fix my applause. That was the, you know, know why he's cheesing? It's the topic. He's trying to get a hookup. Smitty was trying to get a hookup. What's that? All day. Oh, you got me double time. Oh, stop. You don't get to play all that. Right. Oh, no, man. that's next. Okay, how many of y'all? I done it good. Knuckle. Go and see some of the Animotos, the slideshow animations that I do. Uh, go take a look at them. I post them up on YouTube. We publish them on the site. Very often, the focus of the eye is Miko Williams. But again, this is the work the photography Victor Allen. Now, some of those photos were actually done by Miko. Because now, Miko's trying to, we're all trying to make contributions. Miko's trying to get some pictures of Vic. And then I'm supposed to get pictures of them getting pictures. <laughs> I know. It's Lots confusing, but what can I say? All right, you guys. So, now, uh, make sure before we head into this. Before we head into the uh, the next thing, the next part. All right, I think we got it uh, ready. Miko, are you ready? So we got a hot topic for the day. I'm glad you're here. Can we may need some of your assistance. Uh -oh. Never know. Okay. You may have some assistance to bring to this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time.